Now, escaping into a virtual world often involves teenagers and video games, but in Oxfordshire, the technology is now being used in care homes to improve the physical and social well-being of older and less mobile residents. Well, it's part of a trial being run by Oxfordshire County Council and an Oxford-based virtual reality company. Juliet Fletcher went to find out more. Sheila and Merrill are getting their steps in at Fairfield Residential Home in Oxford. They're using virtual reality headsets attached to a seated treadmill to help them get some exercise and explore new surroundings. I think it's good to do something different and I really, really appreciate the opportunity that was given to me to do something different because it's so important and, and, and it stimulates the mind. Well, to get the exercise, I think it's... Um... It's very good. This is not a panacea to say get rid of life. This isn't like that. This is, this is to step in when actually life becomes really challenging and, you, and, and it, it offers an opportunity for escape uh, and exercise. Uh, when the weather is dreadful outside or you're feeling a bit down and you want to just escape into a beautiful environment. I think a really important aspect of what we're doing is re-providing a purpose in life. The technology is designed to improve physical and mental well-being. A resident can go for a virtual walk in the park accompanied by a friend or carer on a tablet or visit a once familiar place, triggering social interaction. We're going to go to Aberystwyth. Have you been to Aberystwyth? I have been to Aberystwyth. Well, yes, then yes. here, you're, this is a view from the yes, um, castle. We find that residents that come in who are previously living at home, they have a decline mobility. Um, which is why they need to come into care and that can be really difficult and overwhelming for them to lose that sense of independence. Um, so this is really good for kind of bridging that gap between coming into care, getting them back on their feet. We're all about promoting independence at Fairfield um, so it makes that process a lot more comfortable for them. Fairfield is one of two residential homes taking part in a 17-month trial. We are really committed to, um, to innovation and uh, emerging technology, particularly in the iHub where I work. And uh, we were really lucky uh, to be able to form an, a, a partnership with Rover Systems um, and we gained some external funding from Innovate UK during, uh, during the COVID lockdowns to, um, to reduce social isolation in older people in, in care home settings. As life gets more challenging for some, this immersive experience is designed to get people walking and talking. Juliet Fletcher, ITV News, Oxford. You are watching ITV News in the Meridian region.